In the previous lecture, we installed Apache uh, web server in our Ubuntu operating system. And after that, we created a custom website and then we hosted that website on Apache web server. In this lecture, we are going to learn that how we can install and configure Nginx web server on Ubuntu operating system. Now, both of these web servers works almost in the same way, but some people just prefer Nginx over Apache because it's a little lighter and a little faster as compared to Apache. So to, uh, the steps in which we can install uh, Nginx are uh, almost similar uh, to the steps in which we follow to install Apache. And you can just go to this URL and you will just find this article which is uh, present on the official website of Ubuntu. All right, so let's just go ahead and follow the steps uh, to install and configure Nginx web server. So first of all, uh, let's just take an overview of Nginx. So Nginx is uh, an open, open source web server that is often used as a reverse proxy or HTTP cache. And it's available for free on Linux operating system. So uh, let's just click here and jump right into installing in Nginx. So uh, this is just to update your system. We ran this command a couple of times, so we don't need it. We'll just uh, skip this one and we'll just uh, jump right into installing the Nginx itself. So uh, we can just copy and paste this command here and it should install your uh, Nginx in your uh, Ubuntu operating system. It's going to take a couple of seconds based, based on uh, your internet connection. And after a couple of seconds, it's going to install everything in your operating system. So hey, it's telling me that it took uh, almost 16 seconds to install Nginx. As soon as your installation has been done, you have done everything to install Nginx and you can access this uh, page this Nginx page, just like you accessed uh, Apache's homepage on your web browser. Just open up a new terminal and right here, uh, this localhost uh, command. Okay, so the reason uh, it gave us this error uh, because we did not start the service uh, Nginx service. So let's just install a sudo service Nginx, sorry. I took that literally uh, Nginx and I'll say start. Uh, it will start your web server and after your web server has been installed, you can see you have you can access your Nginx web server page. Uh, this is the default page that comes uh, when you install your Nginx for the first time. Now what we will do, we will uh, create a custom uh, website just like we did in the previous lecture and then we will host that custom website on our uh, Nginx web server. So we'll just click on this next button and here, here we can create our own website. So first of all, let's just go to this directory. Uh, so whenever you create a web page, you, you, can, you, you will go to this directory. Uh, which is this www, right? So it also indicates the websites, right? Uh, whenever you go to Google, you write www.google.com, right? So just remember it uh, with the help of this perception. Okay, as soon as we are in that uh, directory, we will create uh, a new directory, uh, sudo mkdir, and they are they're using this name tutorial. We will not use this name. Uh, let's just... Uh, uh, think of another name. Let's say that we are just writing custom. So custom is the name of our folder on which we will, you know, create our website. So let's just enter this. Oh, sorry. There was a little error. We have to write MKDIR. So yeah. Uh, and then uh, you will just go to this custom uh, folder that we just created. And so you can see that there's nothing at this point in this uh, custom folder. Now what you have to do is you have to create an index.html file, which uh, which means that you want to create a very basic custom website, right? So for that, you will write a sudo nano because nano is a editor that we used in the previous lecture as well. And then we will write index.html, right? So we'll just uh, scroll up and, you know, uh, copy this 
and paste it here and then we will write control O enter and control X we'll just clear this so right now we have uh, installed our nginx we have started our web server and we have created a custom website now we want to host that website just like normally we do we create a website and then we pay someone to host that website right so we will uh, create our own host in our ubuntu operating system so all you have to do is just uh, copy this path and paste it here now not this one it's it here hit enter and as soon as we are inside that folder we will create a file sudo uh, nano because we need editor and remember we are not using tutorial we are using custom so we'll just create that and inside this we'll simply go ahead and paste this right so uh, this is the uh, uh, this is the server name or website that you can associate with your uh, custom web page. We can change it. We can write, let's say, example, or we can simply write Ubuntu. Ubuntu. And here we can write custom. Right? Uh, and we want to change this folder because we did not create tutorial folder. We created custom folder, right? And yeah, it should work. Okay, so let's just go ahead and save this file with Control O, Enter, and Control X. Right? So now we have uh, set up our virtual host as well. And now all we have to do is just restart our Nginx. So we'll just copy this command and we'll paste it here and it will take, yeah, it just restarted so quickly. So we can simply just write, uh, enter here, refresh this page. It will look exactly fine. But as soon as we listen on 81 port, here is our uh, custom website that we just created. And we put that custom website on our virtual host. So in this lecture, you learned that how you can install and configure Nginx a web server and you saw that how you can create a custom website and host it using uh, Nginx uh, web server. So mostly, in most cases, web developers or engineers use uh, these web servers to create websites and then run and test those websites. Of course, you cannot uh, upload a website and then start testing, right? So uh, during development, uh, what uh, developers actually do is either use either they use Apache or either they use Nginx and then they create their websites and then they you know uh, make them live using these virtual hosts and after that they uh, do all all kind of uh, testing and improving stuff.